Welcome back to my channel. So this week I am finishing up the dining room table. I mean not the table but the chairs and I am so happy to be done with this project. I really need to like calm down and like not take on massive projects every single week but I really enjoyed doing this even though it took forever. I'm really sorry for missing a video last week. I had been hit with migraine after migraine every day that week and it was super hard to like be in the light because it would just make it worse. But I'm back now and I hope you like this video and let's get started. So as I said in the dining room table makeover, I bought the chairs and the table for $75 off Craigslist and the chairs were disgusting. They smelled like animal and I don't know what else. So the first order of business was to wipe them down and then pull the upholstery off of the wooden frame. Now this is actually really dangerous. You gotta be careful here because you will stab yourself a million times on all these staples. I'm just removing the staples with a flathead screwdriver and pulling them out with just some pliers that I had on hand. Here I just removed the backing of the upholstery just to make it easier to access the staples on the inside. This took forever. <laughs> this project isn't hard per se, it's just very time consuming. So be prepared to take breaks because your hands will get sore and you don't want to give yourself carpal tunnel like I did. Next order of business was to unscrew the seat from the bottom of the chair. Now this black part I just ripped off. You don't need to save it. It's not necessary. And then you just go and start lifting up all of the staples. Now I gave these chairs, I think, four coats of paint. I used the same chalk paint that I did on the dining room table, the Rust-Oleum chalked paint. I really like it. You just have to make sure the chair is clean before painting and it holds up really well. Now you can see here that I actually was going to use a spare sheet that I had um, in the house that I had been using for other projects for the upholstery, but it actually didn't end up working. It ended up causing a lot of puckers and it showed the batting underneath. It didn't look very appealing. So what I ended up doing was going to Joanne's and picking up a different material. But before I cut the material, I got some batting, which I got from Walmart. And I cut it roughly to the size of the seat cushion. And then once I cut a strip, I then just trimmed it to the edge of the seat cushion. You really don't want it to fold over, or at least not on this chair, with how the wood and the foam was. Then I took this really pretty sea blue material and started stapling it down. 
You want to start by stapling the top and bottom and stretching it tightly and then staple the sides again stretching it tightly but only do two or three staples per side just so you can get the placement down and then you can start finessing and stapling the rest of it down here I'm using a hammer to hammer it down all the way I don't know if it's because I have a basic staple gun but it wasn't going down all the way so it would like puncture mostly and then I would have to hammer it down the rest of the way just to make sure it was flush so once you have your sides stapled down, then you get to the corners. I just trimmed off a little bit of excess fabric, folded it in half and put the center down into the middle of the corner and stapled it down just in the middle. And then what I did is I just folded it over twice on each side and stapled it down. The one thing you want to be mindful of is just keeping everything as tight as possible, just so you don't have any wrinkles on the top. Now here you see me trimming off some excess material. So I want to lay down the fabric, but since it folds over, I don't want all of that bulk. So I just trimmed off the excess and then just stapled it down. And here you see me doing the exact same process. And then once you have all four corners stapled down, you'll just trim off the excess as close to the staples as possible. Then just flip it over, dust it off, and screw it back onto your painted chair, and this is what you'll end up with. Thank you guys so so much for watching this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you gained a little bit of knowledge of how to reupholster a chair uh or slash paint a chair um or do four of them whatever <laughs> i'm really happy with how they turned out and i'm really excited to finally be able to have sit down at a meal my husband and i have been just eating standing up or sitting on a couch it's really hard to eat soup while sitting on a couch though. So some meals you just have to eat standing, but it's gonna be really nice to sit at a dining room table and eat like a normal person. But anyway, I hope you guys all have amazing weeks and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.